friends in Redondo Beach who have trucks. Okay. That, as a last result, I could do any work in Shasta. That's the problem. Let's look at this. Is this for what I think it is? Just a club, a pool thing. That's for uh, beating this? the shit out of anyone who comes near my car if no. necessary. That's such an LA thing. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you got toys, you're in a minivan, and you got this just in case somebody acts up. Yeah. Oh, dude. Um, Actually, I made it for my wife, so it's when she's driving the car. Oh, nice. I always keep a knife on me, that's fine with me. Yeah. 90% of the time, if, you know, I'm talking my way up, everything will be fine. Yeah. Every once in a while, I can just. How's your day going at Urban Workshop? It's okay. I just got this fucking sniveling little shit that just like, you know, I, so I have a, or had, I don't have it oh, anymore. We don't even know where we're going to go. Eat. Nah, but I know we're not going that way, so. Um, so, the Acapulco's has drinks. It's not like the top cuisine, but it's got atmosphere. Yeah, it's like Mexican Applebee's. You want to do that? Sure. All right. Um, go left at this stop and then go right on the next street. It's, it's real close. Yeah, I think I've been there sometimes. But yeah, so I, I used to have this little bench planer, um, like a traveling one, you know, that you could carry yeah. with you to a site. And um, so I'm just, in, I'm just having trouble adjusting this planer here. So if a couple times I've jammed it up and whatever, the guy comes over to me, he's like, you gotta stop jamming it up. And I'm like, well, number one, you come over to somebody, you say, hey man, you have trouble with that machine? Can I help you out? Yeah. Like, that's how you talk to somebody. You know, come over and just start yelling at him, and then he just okay, who's, who's yelling at you? This dude, he's not even a doesn't work there. He's just another shop member. He's oh, being a shit. Yeah. And what's his? What did he look like? I don't know. Skinny. Small. Was he a little guy? Yeah, he's like skinny and kind of medium to short. Is it still? I don't know. He's kind of an asshole. Did he look like kind of like a like a like a white guy that just dissolves into a crowd? Like, where's Waldo? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, and it looks like somebody's just kind of. Just kind of there. Parentally, he's, yeah, and just, like, life's been unfair to him. Yeah. You know, and, like, dude, life's not fucking unfair to you, and just don't fucking talk to people like that. I wonder if that was stupid. So today he was on the, on the table saw, too, and I'm like, hey, man, how long have you been on that table saw? He's like, oh, about an hour. Yeah. Hour and a half rolls around, every time I would walk by, he's talking on his phone while his shit's on the fucking saw. Like, you know someone's waiting on the saw for you. And you're just gonna sit there and chat, chat, chat with your buddies? Like, get, the f get your fucking guts done. Yeah. So now I'm just annoyed because I got everything glued up. I've just been sitting for an hour waiting for a oh, saw. Oh, if you want to go to Aquapulco, let's just say the direction. Yeah, that's fine. It's like, uh, I don't know. Oh, what's this cost in the street? Oh, hello. I hope you have a happy day because you deserve it. She's huge tits. Yes. Yeah. Great milk. So, that's supposed to be sweater so. kittens. Yeah. yeah. So, County, so you got you had a member give you a hard time, huh? Interesting. Like generally speaking, like I know you've butted heads with that redheaded lady, but yeah. I get along really well with her because I've been in restaurants for fucking twenty years. Like yeah. my job is getting along oh. with everybody. Like I can make anybody happy for the most part. I think I think she I'm, for whatever reason she has felt triggered by me. It was really interesting. Which know? is fair. Well, I also can see she's got a little bit of like... She's got an edge. She's got a little bit of a... Yeah. She's got a little tiny little raging bitch and a little fire. She's inside. very much Karen. Even by her own... That's the, what... Her, there was another guy that worked there named Dwayne, who was the shop manager. He was great. I don't, they got rid of him. Uh, the guy they replaced him with is good, too. Is about Dave? Uh, or a different dude? No, Dave's the little guy that looks like Principal Skinner from The Simpsons. Yeah, a little bit. I can't get a read on him. I think he's got a little bit of a dick in him, but he can also kind of be a dude decent dude. He's, he is weird, dude. He is <laughs> fucking weird. And uh, I think he, he's like, I need to talk to you today. Like, that's what he said when I walked in. Down. By the way, I got here like 20 minutes ago. I walked in. You were on the right, and it's going to be on the left. Oh, you went like, uh, right. Yeah, I was looking for you inside. He's like, I need to talk to you for two minutes. And I was like, uh, well, I don't have two minutes. I'm meeting with somebody for lunch. So how about when I get back? And he just gave me like this weird look. And I, I, I did a lap looking for you. And he came walking the other day and like the other way and like tried to walk into my path. Like he's trying to out alpha me and like a, like a chicken for a walk off. Like, what is this guy doing? Right. And when he walked past me, he just looked at me like this. <laughs> like, this guy's just such a fucking, he gives me massive creeper vibes. Well, again, um, 
So, uh, I'm a little, whoa, someone really wants to work on that yeah. Chipotle, or whatever that was. It's just going to be right here on the yeah, left. Yeah, um, yeah, so, it's just, so I went to my El Camino college recording shop last night, and that place, it's just loves and hug. I mean, hugs and love. Right. Of course, not with COVID, but everyone's... But there's still love. You don't need hugs. And you still get love. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. There's disagreements amongst people using equipment. People get into each other's faces over stuff. But in general, the leadership from the top down, the guy that runs it, he's a 70 year old guy named Jack. He's a master woodworker himself. He's just a great leader. Like, he really keeps the culture and the community of the shop in, in a order. positive, in order, in a positive place. 